Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Far Outlook channel. Today, we will venture into a very fascinating topic, heavy machines in mining, construction, and industry. These powerful devices not only help us complete complex tasks, but also improve productivity. Let's explore the incredible power of these machines through video today. The Tesmec 1475 XL EVO is a type of trenching machine designed for digging trenches for pipelines in large construction projects, ranging from medium to large scale. It is one of Tesmec's most giant chain trenching machines, weighing up to 100 tons. The machine is equipped with the Trenchtronic 5.0 system, which helps it operate efficiently and accurately. With a powerful 630 horsepower engine, the device can dig trenches as deep as 16 feet, 488 centimeters, and cut through rigid materials such as rock and concrete in the most challenging conditions. Safety features on the machine include an automatic braking system and vibration damping system, ensuring safe and efficient operation for users. With its superior design and features, the Tesmec 1475 XL EVO is a good choice for pipeline construction companies and large-scale construction projects. The KTEC Scraper is an excavating machine that moves heavy materials such as soil, rocks, sand, and other materials in construction sites, mines, and quarrying operations. Combined with Volvo's Articulated Dump Truck ADT, the KTEC Scraper has proven highly effective in increasing productivity and profitability for construction projects, mines, and quarrying operations worldwide. The Volvo A60H machine has an engine power of up to 669 horsepower, making it one of Volvo's largest ADTs. Combined with two versions of the KTEC scraper, the KTEC 1243 with a capacity of 43 cubic yards and the KTEC 1263 with a total of 63 cubic yards, this earth-moving machine allows for efficient and quick transportation of a large amount of material. Combining the KTEC Scraper and Volvo A60H dramatically increases the productivity and profitability of construction projects, mines, and quarrying operations. The perfect combination of the ADT's speed and the KTEC Scraper's hauling capabilities maximizes efficiency for construction projects while meeting transportation requirements in the construction and mining industries. The process of salt mining using scraper trains is a method of extracting salt in which salt is mined from underground salt layers through scraper trains. Scraper trains are machinery systems with several parts, including excavators and haul trucks. Salt mining begins with excavators creating tunnels along the salt layer. Then, haul trucks will pull a series of scrapers containing salt from the depth of the tunnel to the surface. Each scraper has a different capacity, ranging from 20 to 80 cubic meters. After the scrapers containing salt are pulled to the surface, they are transported to temporary storage locations. The salt is then processed and prepared for transport to storage depots or production plants. The AccuCut Concrete Cutting Machine is a specialized machine that cuts hard materials such as concrete, stone, brick, and other construction materials. 
The combination of diamond saw blades and their new invention model has enabled the AccuCut to cut concrete with precision and speed while reducing cost and labor time compared to other methods. The Tesmec 1150 EVO surface mining machine is a type of trenching machine used to extract layers of material on the ground surface. This is one of the most modern and advanced surface mining machines of Tesmec. The 1150 EVO features a modern design with a cutting depth of up to 42 centimeters and a cutting width of up to 1.5 meters. It has a powerful diesel engine and a cooling system to maximize efficiency and save fuel. It also has safety features such as an automatic braking system and vibration damping system, allowing users to work safely and efficiently. In addition, the machine is equipped with an automated control system that enables it to operate smartly and optimally. With its superior design and features, the Tesmec 1150 EVO, Safan's surface mining machine is a good choice for mining companies and large construction projects. The CompTech Top Turn X63 machine is the equipment used to process organic waste into fertilizer. This machine has unique features such as the ability to rotate and flip straw, hay and fertilizer to create long rows of material called windrows, which facilitate convenient and efficient organic waste decomposition. This machine is the Demand TGX, a specialized truck for transporting heavy and oversized cargo. It is one of the most modern trucks with digital features and intelligent support devices, making operating and managing the car more convenient and safer. Behind the D-Man TGX truck is a Broshui's 3-bed-5 dolly low-loader trailer produced to meet the company's heavy cargo transportation needs. With high load capacity and flexible customization capabilities, this trailer helps simplify and enhance the efficiency of cargo transportation. The video shows various machines such as the Track Turn 3.7 with features for cutting tree branches, pushing straw, and carrying out organic waste processing during decomposition. We also see other organic waste mining machines such as the CMC ST350 and 300 tug trailers and the self-moving CMC SF300 tug. The standout product of the company is the fleece roller, a device used to separate waste from organic waste. Fleece Roller is designed to operate efficiently, helping save costs and time in organic waste treatment. With this fantastic machine, installing railway tracks becomes much simpler and more accessible. All humans need to do is hold a remote control and give commands to this monster.
Can you feel the sound of rocks being crushed? With this fantastic machine, all terrains become flat and even. UTV 175 is a machine for snow removal and ensuring road safety in areas with heavy snowfall. This snow plow machine is designed to operate alongside a truck to make cleaning snow on roads more convenient and efficient. Do you feel the sweetness of honey? Are you amazed at the speed of this machine? Today we will send you new videos about great machines in the food technology industry. Machines that produce candy, cakes. If you find it interesting and interesting, please send the link to your friends. And now let's begin. The human brain has no limits. These men invented a line for slicing meat super thin and super fast. The sliced meat looks as thin as paper and has almost no errors. The task of portioning pork has become simpler thanks to this wonderful invention. Are you a fan of Zotz candy? I am sure that those of you watching the video have also once enjoyed the feeling of this candy bubbling in your mouth. And the video you are watching is the moment this wonderful clamp was produced. Zotz candy is a small candy produced in the US by the Concord Soft Drinks Company. Zotz candy has a round shape and inside are carbonic acid effervescent particles. When chewing the candy, carbonic acid will emit CO2 gas creating a foamy feeling in the mouth. Zotz has many different flavors such as cherry, green apple, grape, orange, strawberry and watermelon. Zotz candy has been released since the 1960s and remains popular today. Honey candy is a delicious and nutritious candy made from honey, sugar, butter, condensed milk and other ingredients such as fruits. With a simple and easy to follow recipe, creating honey candy becomes very simple. To create honey candy, first you need to prepare the ingredients including honey, sugar, butter, condensed milk and fruit juice, if any. Then you mix all the ingredients in a pot and cook until the mixture is melted and homogeneous. If you want to add flavor to honey, you can add fruit juice to the mixture and cook for a while longer. Once the mixture is thick enough, pour it into candy molds and let cool. Once the candy has cooled sufficiently, you can cut it into small pieces and package them in bags or boxes for storage. With these simple steps, you can create delicious and nutritious honey candy for your family and friends. In addition to being a unique gift for loved ones, honey candy is also an attractive snack at parties or picnics. Wishing you success in creating honey candy. And of course, this is just a recipe that I want to suggest for you to make at home. 
As for a modern production line like this, the formula is completely secret. Gyoza is a type of traditional Japanese dish. But because demand is increasing and people are often busy with work, an automatic cake making machine like this is extremely necessary. You can absolutely hear the sound of the machines very regularly and the finished product is also regular and beautiful. The fillings for gyoza are also very diverse, from pork, beef, shrimp to vegetable fillings for vegetarians. To add flavor, you can add spices such as garlic, ginger, herbs, pepper, sugar, soy sauce, and sesame oil. And this is another traditional dish, but it is Chinese. Chow mai is a small, bag-shaped cake made from flour or rice flour, filled with meat and vegetables. Chow mai is often eaten with dipping sauce or stir-fried sauce, along with raw vegetables, chili sauce, and garlic. The crispy taste of the crust and the delicious flavor of the meat filling have made chow mai one of the most popular dim sum dishes in the world. This bread maker can produce up to 2,500 breads per hour. It is designed in a circular style and uses rotating bread technology on two sides to produce square bread. The machine operates completely automatically with a series of steps from pouring ingredients into the mixing section until the oven finishes baking. The machine is also equipped with an automatic flour and butter mixing system to help users save time and effort during the bread production process. In addition, the machine is also equipped with an automatic material feeding system and an improved bread packaging system. This packaging system offers great flexibility with the ability to package bread in a variety of sizes and shapes. A16NA is an automatic equipment that supports the production and packaging of gyoza. The machine operates automatically to create the desired gyoza with high precision and speed. The machine can make gyoza in many different sizes from small to large, suitable for the user's needs. This is an automatic cake making machine in Kyoto, Japan. This machine is used to produce rondon yaki, a compact bread with castella flavor and sweet white bean filling. This bakery is located in a large area of Kyoto and is known for producing compact castella cakes filled with lightly sweetened white beans. You can buy one or more if you want to enjoy this soft and delicious bread. I always feel excited when watching fully automatic machines work like this. This robot arm is catching falling cookie pieces to put in the oven. Baumkuchen is a traditional German sponge cake, also known as spit cake because it is baked on a stick. This type of cake is also popular and popular as a snack and dessert in Japan. Ingredients to make baumkuchen include eggs, sugar, flour, butter, almond flour or wheat flour and some spices such as vanilla or rum. Baumkuchen is also one of the most popular cakes in Japan where it's called baumukuhen.
It is often used as return gifts for guests at Japanese weddings thanks to its characteristic circular shape. It. Next, let's come to a new invention, a dumpling making machine from Koenig. Forming station is a device on the machine that helps shape bread products such as fruit, leaves, or round or square shapes. This is a machine that uses Texter's Smart and Easy technology to increase efficiency in producing diverse sliced meat packages with up to six different flavors and types. This technology uses Smart Overlapper technology and Smart Loader, compact loader loading technology to ensure a simple, clean, and compact manufacturing process. In addition, the technology has been updated and optimized for software and synchronization to combine with heat presses, improving synchronization and enhancing product features. A fully automatic slicer that produces unexpected results This is a compact dough sheeter used to produce different types of cakes like filled breads, cakes and sandwiches in different shapes like triangles, angles, diamonds and more. The machine is capable of processing up to 390 kilograms of flour per hour, helping to increase the efficiency of the production process. Thank you for watching videos about machinery, food processing, and production lines with us. We hope that through these images you can better understand the food processing and production process in the food industry. However, don't forget that each person's health is essential. Always stay healthy by eating nutritious food and exercising regularly. Come back tomorrow to discover more exciting knowledge with us. Have a nice day. Mechanical Harvesting of Oranges Excavators operate at a new high. The amazing machine I'm talking about is the John Deere 8130 with an impressive working width of up to 7 meters. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Now let's learn about the types of agricultural machinery in today's video. First, let's learn about machines that support grass growing and soil regeneration. This is an important task to improve crop productivity and harvest quality. Right before your eyes is the Horsch Cura 12 ST, a road plow that aerates and softens the soil. If rocks appear in your fields and affect the creation of planting beds, this machine can best assist you.
The Highline Ice Picker has a rotating shaft and ice pick designed like a rake to lift ice into a temporary container. And of course we can't ignore the powerful tractor hooked up to the front. If the Highline Stone Picker is not enough to satisfy you, let's see how the RSE 145GD works. With a powerful motor, this machine does not need to collect ice before working. It combines grinding and hoeing features. You can see the amazing results it produces. This field was plowed after the previous harvest. Now is the time they use machines to mix the top and bottom layers of soil to prepare for the new planting season. Additionally, debris and non-decomposed nylon shells may remain on the ground. A 14 miles per hour rotary hoe is a cultivator used in agriculture to loosen soil, remove weeds, and minimize weed growth. This machine has a rotating set of teeth or blades that loosens the soil and cuts weeds while also creating airflow that aids in planting seeds in the soil. In 2018, Dutch farmers used a combination of a hoe and a mini tractor to till the soil and clear weeds from their fields. Take a little more time to observe closely how this machine works, my friends. Don't forget to leave a like and share it with your loved ones. Farmers are preparing to start the process of harvesting tulip bulbs on a beautiful day at a tulip farm in the Netherlands. However, this time they did not use traditional hoes and spades to dig tulip bulbs like before. Instead, they use modern machinery to help harvest faster and more efficiently. The machine is equipped with modern technology to ensure speed and accuracy during the harvesting process. Controlled by a smart processor, it can automatically search and identify ripe tulip bulbs, then cut them out of the soil and place them on the conveyor belt. Once the tulip bulbs are loaded onto the conveyor belt, they are transported to a workstation where workers can inspect and determine the quality of each bulb. Tulips that do not meet the requirements will be discarded while high-quality tulips will be packaged and shipped to stores around the world. This mechanized harvesting process helps farmers save time, effort, and minimize errors during the harvesting process. It also ensures that the tulip bulbs harvested are of the highest quality, meeting the needs of customers worldwide. Here is the process of harvesting red onions in the Netherlands. There are two steps to complete the onion harvesting process. Firstly, a harvesting machine will run through the onion beds to cut the leaves and lift the onions out of the ground, then stack them into rows. Next, a collection machine will work in parallel with a truck. The onions are picked clean and then dropped onto a conveyor belt that leads into the truck's container. In Chile, 
The harvesting of peaches has been mechanized to increase efficiency and reduce labor costs. Farmers often use machines such as peach cutters and peach pickers. The peach cutter can cut peaches from trees up to 5 meters high, remove peaches that do not meet the standards, and place them in a container. The peach picker is also very efficient, as it can pick peaches from the ground and quickly place them in a container. Alfonso is an experienced farmer in olive cultivation and harvesting. With a 25 hectare olive grove, Alfonso decided to invest in harvesting machines to increase production efficiency. The tree pruning machine helps to prune the trees evenly and ensure the olives are of the best quality. The olive harvesting machine enables Alfonso to harvest quickly and conveniently. It can automatically sort olives by size and quality, helping Alfonso increase efficiency and ensure product quality. With the help of a truck, every time the harvesting machine moves, the olives are cleanly picked up. With millions of tulip bulbs in the container, this machine is operating at full capacity to complete the planning process today. With a diverse combination of tillage machines, planting machines, and tractors, this machine is working smoothly on the field. The machine also has a lifting system to transfer the seed bags into the planter's container, which is incredibly convenient, isn't it? After planting the tulip bulbs into the soil, farmers need to provide water to ensure that the soil is always moist and the plants will sprout after three to four months. The John Deere 8330 is a high-performance agricultural machine produced by John Deere, one of the leading manufacturers in the agriculture and construction machinery industry. The John Deere 8330 features a six-cylinder diesel engine with a power output of 330 horsepower, equipped with an intelligent control system to optimize work efficiency. In addition, it is equipped with many other advanced features such as a remote control system, monitoring and control system through LCD display, cruise control system, and anti-lock braking system, ABS. All of these features make the John Deere 8331 of the most intelligent and efficient agricultural machines on the market. DMJ Drainage is installing a drainage system for a rapeseed field. They are using a Mastenbrook trenching machine and a CT12 stone cart to complete the job. The trenching machine helps dig and clean trenches for proper irrigation of crops. The CT12 stone cart is equipped with a protective shield against stones and rocks ensuring safe transportation to necessary points on the field. With the effort of the entire team, the job was completed smoothly, providing the field with a modern drainage system and promoting better development. Using machinery to plow the land has significant benefits for agriculture and crop production. Instead of manual labor with a plow, machines such as tillers can help plow the land faster and increase productivity.
Using a tiller also ensures the accuracy and uniformity of the size of the plowed land, helping to prepare the soil better for the planting and working process later on. Additionally, a tiller can reduce the fatigue and labor time of farmers, allowing them more time to do other tasks and increasing work efficiency. However, the use of machinery for plowing can also have environmental impacts if not done correctly. Without proper control, Excessive use of tillers can cause soil compaction and reduced water permeability, affecting the development of crops. Therefore, the use of tillers should be done reasonably and effectively combined with the use of fertilizers and other nutrients to keep the soil rich and ensure the growth of crops. There are many famous tiller manufacturers worldwide, including John Deere, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, Case IH, New Holland, and more. The use of machinery in pesticide spraying and manure pumping in agriculture has many positive effects. Firstly, using machinery helps increase productivity and save time for farmers. Additionally, the use of manure pumps helps distribute fertilizer evenly, improving soil fertilization, and yielding high efficiency in agricultural production. Secondly, using machinery in pesticide spraying and manure pumping helps minimize negative impacts on the environment and human health. Furthermore, the use of manure pumps helps distribute fertilizer evenly and reduces the amount of fertilizer released into the environment. The use of machinery in harvesting agricultural crops, including citrus fruits and other crops, plays a crucial role in the development of modern agriculture. Modern machinery is specifically designed to harvest crops quickly and efficiently, increasing productivity and reducing production costs. Previously, manual harvesting was time-consuming, labor-intensive and prone to product wastage. However, with the development of technology, modern harvesting machines have been invented to address these issues and improve agricultural production efficiency. Furthermore, the use of machinery in crop harvesting helps reduce the negative impact on workers' health. Manual harvesting is a very tiring and physically demanding task that can cause harm to the body. By using machines, workers can reduce physical exertion and fatigue, helping to protect their health and improve their quality of life.